Now, uh, cumin seeds I think everybody's familiar with, and generally speaking, when we're preparing spices here at the uh, Ballymenu Cookery School, we, a lot of the time, not all the time, but a lot of the time, we begin by just dry roasting them. So that will be putting some of the spices into a dry pan like that, and then putting them on a heat, not too high, and giving them the odd shake of the pan um, until they start to smell aromatic and until the colour changes ever so slightly. And that roasting does two things. It elevates the flavour. It also makes them slightly more crispy, which means that grinding them then in either a spice grinder or a pestle mortar becomes really easy. So that's what we mean by lightly roasted, and then they will be finely ground and end up looking like that there. Let me have a look in here at my pheasants, which are browning off nicely. You're not going to get them completely evenly browned all over because, because of the nature of the bird. But I move them around have them sitting on their sides uh, with the breast side down a little while until I get them nicely uh, coloured. Then I've got a tablespoon of sweet paprika, a tablespoon of ground turmeric, um, uh, a te one teaspoon of salt, um, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a teaspoon of sugar, which you might find unusual, but sugar is a terrific enhancer of the flavour of spices. So a little bit of sugar is a really great idea in here. And then um, a teaspoon of black pepper. So that's where I am in there. Then I need two large cloves of garlic, peeled and crushed. So I'm just going to use a microplane to, um, uh, to crush my garlic. So, in fact, the garlic doesn't even need to be peeled. So pushing it through the microplane like that. Watching out for your fingers. Getting that last little bit in. And you get a lovely paste like that. These, this is lovely Irish garlic. We grow a lot of garlic here at the farm, which we use. Uh, we dry and use, and then if we don't have enough, because we use so much garlic, as you can imagine, here at the school, we get garlic from a, from a wonderful company in West Cork, because we have lovely, um, we have perfect temperature uh, here for growing garlic in Ireland. So that's my lovely garlic paste, which is going in there, like that. Okay, let me go and have a little, another little twiddle around with the birds, which are doing nicely there. Uh, garlic, the juice of one lemon, so as we know, um, a lemon, uh, the juice of a lemon comes from a lemon, as distinct with anything um, that has a lid involved. So juice the lemon fresh, like that. You can keep your lemon peels for making marmalade or candied peel and so on. And um, if you don't feel, you know, you only have one lemon, you're not going to make candied peel out of that. But they freeze like that. Freeze them like that. And then when you come to make candied peel, or even possibly marmalade out of them, even though, no, you just as candied peel, we'll say here. But if you've frozen them, they actually soften down more quickly uh, in, you know, when you're making the candied peel. So it's a really, really good idea. So that's the juice of one lemon. And then a, two tablespoons of olive oil. So two tablespoons of olive oil. Um, and then just mix everything together and that is the lovely spice paste.